you will not believe what old governments did to steal real estate from the masses. Historically and globally, the definition of real estate and the systems in place used to distribute and manage real estate have changed a myriad of times. Back in the 1700s, the feudal system was popularized mainly in Japan and in Europe. Although the differences were slight, both systems were agreeably awful. In Europe, the king or queen, through self-proclaimed divine right, owned all of the land and they granted fief or parcels of land to noblemen known as lords. So basically they gave all the land to the rich people to manage. Vessels were tenants that swore loyalty to the crown and provided military services as necessary. You would know these as knights, shining armor, what else are knights known for? Um, horses, chivalry, you know, the whole shipping. Now, under the vassals, there were serfs, better known today as peasants, and they were tasked with all of the labor. Serfs had very few rights and they were commonly passed down through the land. So you were basically bound to the land and whoever inherited the land um, or was given the land by the king, you were basically their servants. Again, this system was just plain awful. It was exploitative and outdated, quite frankly. This system benefited a very small percentage of the population. And you're probably thinking, well, things are so much better now. Well, that's a maybe. Let's explore what system the US currently uses today. It's called the allodial system, system, if I'm saying that right. I am not sure. Most states in the United States allow citizens to hold ownership of land in fee simple. Now, allowing someone to hold ownership in fee simple is very important because it means that there are no conditions or limits to the land. And you usually will see this in a deed written something like to John Doe or to John Doe and his heirs. In simple terms, individuals like you and I can own land. All we need is money. Nowadays, real estate can be classified as real property and defined as any parcel of land, including anything permanently attached to it, whether man-made or natural. So an example of something natural would be a tree or lake, and an example of something man-made would be a building, a shed, a pool. Anything that isn't permanently attached, for example, a microwave or a fridge is considered personal property. So let's say you get a new fridge, um, but you're selling your house and you want to take the new fridge with you to your new house. You can state that in the contract. Um, that way the buyer already knows that that item is not transferring with the property. Um, they can request to have you keep it and then you can negotiate that with your realtor. Now that you know what is considered real estate and what systems are in place today, you're gonna wanna stick around for tomorrow's video where we dive into how to invest in real estate.